Welcome back to Three Months of Modal Logics, a sequel to 100 Days of Logic here with Carneades.org. Today we're going to be continuing our November focus on temporal logic with linear temporal logic and, for those of you keeping track, marking halfway through the Three Months of Modal Logic with video number 50 in this series and video number 150 in our series on logic as a whole, including the original 100 Days of Logic. Pretty cool. So, so far, we have also been assuming that our logic is linear. Linear is going to function effectively the same way that connectedness did by claiming that there is only one non-branching timeline. Like axioms GP and HF, it's going to mix past and future, so it will not have an analog in other modal logics. This is, importantly, why you haven't seen any L's in our deontic or alethic modal logic so far. LT will include all of KT, as well as for transitivity, and L, linearity. Let's take a look. So, the temporal axiom of linearity looks as follows. If at some point in the case, in the future, it will be the case that at some point in the past it was the case that P, or at some point in the past it was the case that at some point in the future it will be the case that P, then at some point either in the future or the past it will be the case, or has been the case, or now is the case that P. In other words, if something was going to be the case, or if something will have been the case, then that thing either will be, has been, or is right now. This might seem to not actually add anything, but when you consider the possibility of branching timelines, it should be clear how this is going to affect our timeline. Once again, our assumptions about the timeline and the way we've been looking at the timeline so far have been that it's linear, and so it doesn't seem to really add anything because our semantics implies linearity. But when you look at the possibility of branching timelines, it's going to be clear that this prevents those. If, for example, it was going to be the case that we went to the fair, but we never actually went, imagining perhaps another untaken timeline where we did go, this criteria would fail. So, let's take a look at this. Once again, this timeline assumes linearity. So, at some point in the future, at some point in the past, it will be the case that P. So that means at some point in the future, this instant over here, says at some point in the past P will be the case. So that means that P is either the case between these two instants, at our original instant now, or sometime in the past, which is all that EP says. EP says that P will be the case now, at some point in the future, at some point in the past. Similarly, PFP is going to do the same thing. So it's saying that at some point in the past, it was the case that at some point in the future P would be the case. So, this point somewhere in the past, we have FP, and that means that P is the case either here at some point before now, but after that FP moment, right now, or at some point in the future, which once again is all that EP is saying. So it seems that either of these are going to imply EP. But, that's not going to work for branching timelines, so imagine this scenario. And let's see, so... F, P, P back here. So that means at some point in the future, let's say on the top timeline, P is the case at some point in the past. And let's say P was the case at some point in the past on that same timeline. Well, now let's imagine that on this other timeline, not P is the case. And in fact, at that point in time, for all points in the future and all points in the past, from that point, not P was the case. So not P is the case it will always be the case, and it has always been the case. So, from that point's perspective, there is no point in the past or the future at which P is the case. And so, EP is false, and so this is going to fail. Linearity gets rid of the possibility of branching timelines. Once again, if you're interested in branching timelines, stay tuned at the end of this month we'll be looking at a couple of videos on branching time and different ideas of branching timelines. Up next we're going to be looking at well-ordered temporal logic or NT. 
Watch this video and more here at Carneades.org. Congratulations for making it halfway through the three months of Modal Logic. Watch a new video every single day for another 50 days here with Carneades.org and stay skeptical, everybody.